All right, hey there fashion friends. Welcome to today's episode. I'm very happy that you've joined me here today. Well, luckily most of you here with me on this channel are within my band camp. You're in my boat. You're you're on the train with me for the all black for the summer. And for those of you that aren't, you can at least respect it, right? Hey, ride with me if you ride with me, you can slide with me if you feel like. Hey, ride with me if you ride with me, you can slide with me if you feel like. This year, I'm not alone because black is back on the trends list. I'm here for it every year, but I'm happy to, you know, share the share the wealth now of sort of my tips and hacks on how I like to style my black so that it doesn't fall flat. Because I do think that's the only thing about black is if you're not careful, it can fall flat and be a little bit boring. I will say that I think a lot of these tips could work with white as well. Well, not all of them, but a lot of these tips could work with anything to kind of add edge and, and dimension. So if you're not into black, I think that these tips could still probably work for you. If you want additional content, if you're liking what I'm you know, putting out here, what I'm putting out into the world, then make sure to click the link down in the description to sign up with your email to my newsletter because over there I am putting out even more content that you will not be getting on this channel. It's kind of, you know, it's still within the fashion realm. Get a little bit more open, a little bit more real and kind of explore different topics to kind of open our perspective on fashion. So there we go. All right, that's my spiel. Let's get into these hacks. Okay, so hack number one is shorts layering. This is super retro. Like I feel like this is very 80s, 90s. I love like a good, you know, high cut retro short, of course. But sometimes when I'm going out and about into the world, yeah, it's a little bit too breezy. I kind of like the idea of then layering my bike shorts underneath. These bike shorts that I have, these are actually from Belly Bandit. This is not sponsored. This is, they didn't even gift these to me. I got these when I was pregnant and I'm absolutely obsessed with these because they're like a cooling fabric, super breathable. And as well as that, they're like super smoothing and they, you know, they're just nice and, you know, lock it up. They lock up those, thighs for you. So these are a great one to layer under short because it doesn't make you, you know, additionally hot. It's very breathable. I love that it adds like a sort of dimension, a different dimension to the look. It adds some definite edge and makes them a little bit different and a little bit more interesting as well. Like people are definitely going to give that look a second glance just because of its, you know, little bit of an edgy nature, just because of that contrast. Um, as well as that, it just helps me to, you know, be, keep it moving <laughs> without feeling like something's gonna slip. Hack two is the dimensional jumpsuit. I think like the go-to sort of vibe is like a t-shirt or a tank top underneath the jumpsuit. But I think if you wanna elevate it just a little bit further, make it a little bit more edgy, give it a little bit more interest, then you can replace that tank top or t-shirt with a tube top. And if you have a black jumpsuit like mine here, then putting a stripe tube top underneath will add some dimension to the look. And the biggest point of it all is that it's much more cooling for those hot, hot days. Okay. Hack number three is the bike short trade out. I like taking the bike shorts and because they are more edgy, they're a little bit more cutting edge for a look that you would normally wear some conventional shorts with and then putting the bike shorts with it instead, I think makes a massive difference and definitely brings in that edgy contrast to most of our looks that we wear. Again, because these are a specific pair that I sought out because of their cooling fabric and their kind of moisture wicking fabric and their smoothing fabric. These are super breezy and comfortable and just, I love that because it actually is so, so comfortable, more so than any sort of bottom I'm gonna be wearing in the summertime. You do have to be careful with bike shorts because if you choose a pair of bike shorts that isn't as mindful about that cooling, they can definitely make you feel a lot hotter. So just kind of doing your research on what fibers or fabrics are in your bike shorts and making sure that it's gonna be cooling and not 
you know, holding in heat and, and making you overheat. Hack number four is a sandal upgrade. Mm -hmm. I definitely fall in this trap a lot where I have kind of like my go-to sandals that are super cute, timeless. You know, they have a bit of style to them, you know, Birkenstocks, case in point. But you know, they're, they're definitely like kind of your standard sort of sandal. Like most people, are, a lot of people are wearing Birkenstocks. It's not like this like cutting edge sort of thing. Again, not saying that there's anything wrong with that because they are my favorite and they're my go-to, so yeah. But I think it is important to have some like upgraded sandals. When you find like a good pair of like edgier or statement or just more stylistic, just a little more interesting sandal, like hold on to those babies. And when you're wearing a look and you're just kind of like, hmm, this needs a little something, you can throw those on and it's gonna elevate the look. The Gladiator sandals I think are a great choice because they're definitely very stylistic. They're very flattering. I don't know if that's even a thing, but I feel like they're flattering to the foot. But also Gladiator sandals, I feel like are just always, always on trend. Can you see how bad I'm sweating? I'm like, Ugh. Another pair that I got recently are these Nine West mesh flats. Now, you guys know I am not a fan of flats. I think flats are just too feminine for me. I'm, I'm just never been a fan. And I d don't like how like dainty they are, but I saw these and I thought, nope, gotta have them because I actually like that they have the pointed toe. So that's kind of like a nice silhouette that I like. I think it's a flattering, flattering silhouette. And then I loved that it had that mesh. The mesh just kind of adds a bit of edge, adds some interest to it. Cause I think they just elevate and add a little bit of fun and edge to your more basic black looks. Hack number five is add a bit of drama. You know, I love a little bit of drama when it comes to an outfit. I think adding just a little touch of drama is a great way to elevate a look in a very effortless way. If you go too far over the scale on drama, then yes, that gets you a little bit more into a dramatic look, which is fine if that's your if that's your vibe, but it's not my vibe. Um, I like to kind of keep it more effortless, a little bit more understated. So just kind of pairing maybe one little dramatic thing, maybe it's like the really wide brim black hat with a more casual look. But another one is using my favorite Luna robe. The whole reason why I got this robe isn't even to wear it as a robe. It is to wear it as a long, long cardigan. So this is definitely a great one to bring in that drama to your summer looks. It's great for the pool. It's great to just put over like a shorts look because it definitely brings in that great contrast of the lengths and it's super breathable so you're not going to overheat so it's a great way too to keep the sun off of you if you don't want the sun on you so a great option to be practical and dramatic you know hack number six is mesh it up yes so i showed you some mesh with the flats earlier which is a great way to bring in some of that mesh bring in another contrast of textures because i think that's another way black can become flat is by its textures, is by, is by not having like, you know, enough textures. Um, and it's definitely difficult in the summer to change up those textures because it's not like in the winter where you can have all these yummy, sort of fuzzy, different type textures. So mesh is great for that, especially if you have kind of like a sexy sort of look or a sophisticated sort of look, and then you bring in that mesh, kind of brings in that more goth gothic sort of edge, that sort of contrast. Hack number seven is gold pops. Yes. So you might not be a gold person, maybe you're a silver person, but I do feel like gold is such a great pop against black. I love black and gold. A bit of yumminess, a bit of luxe. So it's gonna be a great contrast to your more basic casual sort of pieces, case in point. The jewelry that I'm showing here today is from Zoe Love, and this is just amazing, high quality, sustainable sort of gold jewelry that's going to be just great and timeless for years and years. It's kind of like layering without actually layering, if that makes sense. Hack number eight is sexy meets sophisticated. So I think summer is sort of like, you know, the sexy style moods moment for sure. And I definitely love a little bit of sexy vibe, a little bit of that, you know, femininity or that flattering, you know, reveal. But I am definitely one that's got to like balance it out with something. So whether it's like some casualness, some conventional style mood or the sophisticated style mood. Sexy and sophisticated style mood I think is a great pairing. So as an example here today with this sort of bra top or crop tank uh, then styled with 
the sophisticated trouser and give you that effortless chic sort of look. But as well as that, keeping you cool, keeping you breezy. And hack number nine, when in doubt, add a bandana scarf. So I know I mention a bandana scarf almost like every other episode, I get it. But I do think I just love the sort of little effortless bit of edge or style that it adds to a look. And I think more so than anything in the summertime, it is a perfect go-to thing to have because I definitely put on looks and I'm like, oh, this is just so boring, it's so plain, it's so basic, but I just don't know what else to do. I'm super hot, don't really wanna add anything else. So I just pop that baby on and it just instantly adds just that little bit of edge that I need. And as well as that, it keeps me cool, kind of keeps the sweat you know, and check. That's gross. Another easy peasy one. All right, that is it. Those are my nine hacks for edging up some summer black. Yes. So if you got any hacks that you would like to add, definitely comment down below and you know share the knowledge, share the wealth. I hope that wherever you are, whether it's summer, winter, fall, whatever it may be, I am hoping that you are having a lovely day, enjoying your weather, whatever it is. Make sure that if you are not, that you subscribe and click the little bell to get notified when I post my new episodes weekly. And give me that thumbs up, comment below, share with your friends, and click the link down below to sign up for my newsletter, Hey Fashion Friends. All right, stay healthy, stay safe, love, and support each other, and we will definitely be chatting soon. Bye!